Hello everyone, this is Rich and this is a quick tutorial on how to enable Windows Shares on Ubuntu Linux 6.10. I'm going to cover both how to connect to Windows Shares and how to have Windows connect to Ubuntu. Okay, step one. The first thing we need to do is go to System and then Administration and then Networking going to ask you for your administrative password. Go ahead and put that in. And next on the list here, we have a, now you may have a wireless connection, but I'm using this with wired. You highlight this and then click general. Then you put in your host name. This is the name that will show up if you browse to the computer with other computers. I just put in Ubuntu here. If you have a domain name, you can put that in your ordinarily on a home network. You don't need one. Click close. The next thing we need to do is go to system and then administration and then shared folders. Now, I have already set this up, but I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. When you do this for the first time, it's going to prompt you to download SMB for Samba and NFS. Go ahead and let it do it and then let it install whatever it needs to. After you're done with that, click on General Properties. This is the work group that you're going to be attached to. Uh, it's normally labeled as MS Home, like this. I changed mine to FSPN because that happens to be my work group that I'm in. Then you're okay with that. Then click Close. Now the next part is the part that everyone gets screwed up on. And it is tricky. I will admit it but this is the easiest way I know how to do it. We click on applications, then accessories, and then terminal. It's going to launch a terminal. What we're going to do is that we're going to edit the Samba configuration file and just make a few quick edits. So I go to, well I'd not go to, I type sudo which means this is going to execute this document as the administrator so you can edit and save it and then gedit. Gedit is like notepad for Windows so you should be should find it fairly easy to use and then forward slash etc forward slash samba forward slash smb dot conf press enter. What will happen is that it's gonna launch. Now by the way if you're prompted for a password after that just put in the password of the administrator that's what you need to do now what you need to do here is uh, I'll go say if you uh, launch this for the first time you click find and then search for the word browsable b-r-o-w-s-e-a-b-l-e -E -E, and then click find and then click close what it ends on is right where we're supposed to be. Now you'll notice this little semicolon means it's commented out. So we're going to get rid of that and put browsable to yes. And then just a little bit down the way here, we have to set writable to yes. So we'll go ahead and do that. That's all we need to do with this file. And then we click save. And then we close this. The terminal window is still open, so we type in exit, press enter, and it goes away. Now, what we need to do is, uh, I'm going to go back to the terminal once again. You didn't have to close the terminal, but I just do this for consistency's sake. And what I'm going to do is add a username so that Samba is enabled so that Windows shares can browse the directories, because if you don't add it mean just because you have a username in Ubuntu doesn't mean it's shareable yet only in Ubuntu is it you have to make this uh, I guess talkable I know it's not a really a word but we'll just say talkable for Windows to connect to Linux so we'll do sudo and then smbpasswd which is Samba password space dash a for add and I'm going to put in a username I use the username rmanga for all my boxes, so I'm going to put in rmanga. Press enter. Now it's going to ask me to put in a new Samba password for this user. I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's going to ask me to retype it. 
do that. Done. Now, what we need to do is reload the Samba service. So we do that by sudo forward slash etc forward slash init period d slash Samba space reload. Press enter. Now, if you notice, it's reloading the service. It already did it. If you look over to the right here, it said OK. We are officially done. So I click, and I click, excuse me, I type exit. It exits. Now, uh, just in a second here, I'm going to pause for a minute and I'll show you how to set up a folder in Ubuntu to share out. Okay, before I show how to share a folder out from Ubuntu to Windows, I will show how to connect from Ubuntu to Windows first. The way we do that is very easy. We click on places and then network servers. And in a second it will bring up a window. It's going to examine the network and it should show the Microsoft network in just a second. And there it is. Double click that. Next thing it shows is the work groups that are available. The FSPN one is the one I want. I double click that. And then it will show all the computers in the FSPN work group. Again, I want to state here that this is the name of my work group. That may not be necessarily the name of yours. It could be called work group or MS Home or whatever you want to call it. Mine happens to be called FSPM. Now, of course, my Ubuntu box is here. And here is a Windows machine. So I'll go ahead and double click that one. And it should show in just a second all the shares that are on it. And there are all the shares. I happen to have my entire D drive shared out on one of my Windows machines, so I double click that and it should show all and there it is, all the folders and stuff that are on it. I go inside a folder, do whatever I please with it. I can drag items into the home folder or into the desktop wherever I want them to go. But that is uh that's how we do that. Okay, let's go and share something out. Now the easiest way I found to share stuff out from Ubuntu to Windows is to do it from your home folder. We go to places and then home folder. Easy enough. Then what we have to do here is actually create a folder inside your home folder. So I right click inside here and left click create folder and I'll just call it folder to share. Um, I'm going to put something in the folder first. I have a test document here already so I'm going to drag that into here and if I double click the folder there's my test document, so let me go back. Okay. Now I'm going to right click this folder and left click share folder. And then after that's going to ask me yet again for an administrative password. That's okay. I'll put that in. And then bring up another window in a sec. There it goes. And it'll say share through with a little drop down. I will click this and left click Windows Networks. The name is folder to share. You can put a comment in there if you want. I'll keep it as read only and that's fine. Click OK. Now the folder is officially shared. So let's head over to Windows and see if I can actually access this. Alrighty then, here we are in the Windows Explorer. Let's see if I shared this out correctly. You can get to the Windows Explorer by clicking Start, then All Programs, then Accessories, and Windows Explorer, that's where it is. We're going to expand my network places and then uh, expand entire network and then Microsoft Windows network and then FSPN which happens to be my net excuse me a work group name and then uh, we have there's my local box and here's Ubuntu and there she is folder this year and there's the document Yahoo so now we've got the ability to share and if I right click this I can map a network drive to it do whatever I want pretty cool if you asked me so there you go an easy way to share Ubuntu to Windows and Windows to Ubuntu